What I have here is a very simple circuit diagram with a battery, an ammeter, a voltmeter and a lamp connected in series to a variable resistor. And this is the kind of thing that we could maybe use to investigate the IV characteristics of this component. But what I often see is that when it comes to actually setting up a very simple circuit like this is we get basically a jumble of wires and various components all connected up and uh, then you know people do find it hard no matter what you did at GCSE to actually get these circuits working at A level. So I'd like to show you maybe one way that we can check circuits are working. Now first of all I'm going to start with a filament lamp which I've got in this component holder here and also I'm going to start with my source of EMF which is basically my cell here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that this is working so if I connect it up we do get some light out so I know that this cell works and so does the lamp. I can then do the same with my other source of EMF. So I'm going to connect up uh, this other part of the circuit again to check my second cell is working. And if that's working I can then basically set up the very simple circuit. So here I have a variable resistor. Now this one here you can kind of see how it works. If we connect to this input and this input then what I can do is alter the total resistance by moving this slider uh, along this spring here. And what we do there is affect the total amount of wire that the current has to go through. So if I connect this up, what I can do is just check this works by maybe making the light brighter or perhaps dimmer. And what I can therefore check is that this component is also working. So now I know that I have a complete circuit where everything is working, what I can start to do is to put in my measuring devices. Now the first one I'm gonna put in is my ammeter. Now the ammeter, is uh, this big device over here and what it does is this must go in series with the components. So the important thing is all I'm doing is adding one component at a time and checking that everything is still working. And what I have is a value of 0.15 or 0.16 amps. And we can see that we've now got current flowing around the circuit. So the final thing I'm going to add is my voltmeter which is going to go in parallel with the component I'm looking at. Now as I plug this in, we should see that there's still uh, a reading on the voltmeter, the lamp still stays lit up and we have the same current flowing. And this is basically, this kind of jumble of wires and various components is exactly what we see on this circuit diagram down here. Now the important thing to remember is I'm adding one component at a time and checking my circuit works. That way, I know if anything stops working, what's been the cause of that? So just remember, when you do practical work at A-level physics, it is only A-level physics. It's not electronics, there's no weird kind of and or gates. There's no kind of uh, graduate level uh, physics and really kind of complicated circuits here. It is very much a DC circuit where we have a certain amount of components, an ammeter, a voltmeter, and if you just get, get on with the basics, everything else follows from there. And if you just go by adding one component at a time, you will always get it right.